I have spent the majority of my life playing League of Legends, and I don't want to even think about the hours I have put into that stupid game. But if there's one thing I would tell myself, you don't need another game of League of Legends or another session of brain rot doom scrolling, okay? Can you just please for a second try and stop up and realize that you are numbing yourself from yourself. It's like you're trying to hide from your true self. And that's why it's painful every time you go to bed that you think about why didn't I do the things that I wanted to do? Why did I keep playing when I had this like goal in mind that I wanted to do it? Like I wanted to be productive today, but I ended up playing League of Legends. Do you ever stop up and wonder why that is? The reason why you're so hard on yourself when you don't do the things that you know that you should do is because your authentic self is trying to communicate to whatever you're doing right now that that is not what you authentically want like it's it's not in coherence with what you truly want deep at your core everyone in i feel like right now is so busy chasing the next high like they're chasing pleasure instead of purpose and pride like what the fuck happened to this society do you ever stop up and ask yourself why why am i doing this why am i spending countless hours on a virtual game that will do nothing for me later on in life and do you want to be the the fucking uncle that is enslaved in your basement being fat eating doritos or whatever licking your fingers and all you you're looking forward to is playing League of Legends or whatever stupid game that you're playing in your 30s or 40s. Is, is that what you want? I don't fucking want that. I'm terrified of that reality. Like, I don't know if people realize that that's the path they're going down on. That, that like they work their job, they're doing their thing, they're making money. And then, you know, the only thing they can look forward to is playing a game that is numbing themselves from the reality which is that they will be older and all they have is this stupid fucking game that is pointless like i'm not saying if you can control yourself to one or two the, like games of league of legends that then that's fine that doesn't matter that's whatever right but if you're someone that when you play this game because it's been designed to make you addicted and feel like you're progressing towards something, well, I want you to stop, look around, ask yourself, why? Why are you doing it? Like another example is, why do you pull up your phone the moment, the split second you get bored? Or why do you make up excuses that it's okay to take another game of League because you earned that you need to relax now because you had a hard day at work? Bro, what have you even done? If you were working on something purposeful and purpose-driven, I can tell you from experience, because I've, I've lived it, I know that it's effortless. Sure, it will have its, you know, what would you call it, difficulties, and I also feel overwhelmed with what I'm doing right now, but it sure as fuck is less painful than going to bed every night, like hammering yourself to sleep on why you didn't do the things that you knew you should be doing because you wanted to, but instead you opted for the easy solution, which was to play another game of leak. You might just be a passive consumer, which is fine, but I don't know about you, I don't want to be that. <laughs> like, I want to control my life, I want to control my future, I want to take that shit by its balls and then do whatever I can to get my desired reality into the future. Playing League doesn't get me there, probably won't get you there, you'll not be a pro gamer, bro. <laughs> And I think, so for example, like you, like you might know what you want to do and how to do it and all this, but when it comes down to actually taking action, you don't know how to focus anymore because you have been programmed or you have programmed your mind to seek out these instant dopamine gratification, like playing video games. So it's obvious that you feel overwhelmed because you're indulged in all this shit. I did that. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. In fact, I will just be straight with you. It will be very painful. <laughs> but 
there is a way out. Like the key to actually getting out of this situation you're in and the situation I was in is through clarity. And I think the best way to get clarity in what you're in right now is to ask for help. If you cannot see the path, what do you do? Well, you ask for help. You ask Google, you ask your GPS, right? So for example, for you, go into communities, whether it's on Reddit, whether it's my community, whether it's someone else's community or people like your friends, like you need to have people around you that support you getting out of this shit. If you actually have dreams and goals and ambitions wanting to do something, then the best way is to ask a person to help you overcome these things. I think that surrounding yourself with other people that wants to, for example, quit or get to some place in life is the best solution in order to get to where you want to go. Now, like I said before, if you feel like you have it under control and you're just playing, you know, for fun and aren't as addicted like I was, like I found out that the thing is that with video games or at least League of Legends that I found out was that I wasn't really addicted to leak per se, even though it was, it's been very much designed to make you addicted. That is 100% true. They have behavioral psychologists in there to make this game so that you get hooked on it. It's like it's a business. They want you hooked. All right. They want you to spend time so that they can satisfy investors in the company. They will do everything to keep you on the platform. That is 100% certain because they need to satisf satisfy investors. And the only way they do that is through growth in the company and getting more and more profit. So those little pings and dings and the music and the way they do the visual effects, it's not random, bro. It's all meant to get you hooked on that shit. But anyways, if you, you're not in that situation and you're just doing it for fun and you're doing it one hour and every night and you, you feel like you have it covered, well, I mean, that's fine. That's up to you. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with playing League. What's wrong is dedicating your life to the delusion that you will be a pro gamer or numbing yourself from reality that you're not doing what you want to do or your authentic self wants you to do. That's a problem. So I think I'll end on this. At least in my experience, the easiest way to change or fix a habit or addiction and is literally to avoid it. The easiest way to change or fix something like that is to avoid it. It's easier to avoid than it is to resist. So I don't know you, you know yourself. If you feel like you can't break this, the easiest way is to get rid of it. Whatever you have to do, whether it's fucking selling your computer, moving to another country like I am, like I'm traveling, like whatever you have to do to get rid of it, surround yourself with other people so that it's easier. Like there's so many things that you can do. It is possible to get out of that shit and then actually starting to progress towards your goals and take that obsession with progressing in video games and use that to build a business or build a YouTube or something productive, take a big project. That was what I was trying to say is that I wasn't addicted to league. I was addicted to progress. I wanted to become the best I could possibly be. So I have taken that kind of addictive, obsessive personality, and now I'm pouring it into this business and YouTube to make it as good as I possibly can. And it's driven by purpose and abundance that I want to help people. I want that. That, that, that was the whole reason I started this YouTube in the first place is because I watched some, I don't know, self-improvement guy, I think it was called self-improvement pill or something. Uh, it was this like white bought faceless channel, whatever. I remember this is why I, I started this channel was because I was like, holy shit, I, I want to help people, right? And so that is really fulfilling to me. So I've taken like my, my obsessive personality with video games and my obsession for progress and using it productively in creating a business and, you know, trying to become a full time creator. And so to me, at least helping people, which I am right now and doing content like this, this is super fulfilling to me. So I hope this was helpful. If you felt it was helpful, well, I would appreciate it if you just dropped a like or subscribe. 
it's completely up to you. But uh, yeah, if not, I'll see you in the next one.